What's going on guys? Waco from Revolution here, here at the Trilo booth at Watches and Wonders, and my mind has just been blown, right? Like I'm holding in my hand one of the coolest watches I've ever seen in Folle Journée, but I'm going to explain to you a little bit more about this watch with the help of its creator and the founder of Trilo, Gauthier Massonneau. Gauthier, how are you, sir? Hello, hey. how are you? I'm very well, sir. Welcome here. Thank you so much. You know, and go to, you know, I had the pleasure of meeting you last year and already was really impressed with the language that you created for your watches, which in many ways was kind of like taking civil time and reinterpreting it in a very artistic and emotionally expressive way. So tell us a little bit about that philosophy. Uh, it, it's really the goal uh, and the underlying philosophy of Trilab to, to say that we, we've been reading time for the, seven, for the same manner for several centuries. Right. With these moving arrows and time being fixed on the dial, right. which is a very convenient way to read time. Yes. I would like to, I'm, we're developing something that, that tells a different story, which is more about you know, taking your time, but difference on your watches. Yes. And so we illustrated that on our first collection, the Limetino, a few years ago, three years ago. Would now. you have one uh, here? We, we have can here. we take a look at that? We can just show that to the camera. So here we have our first collection, Le Matino, in its green version. And explain to us how time is read on this. So here you have three pointers of times, the three trilobes, that are fixed. And if you change time, you see that time will be moving. So here, for example, it would be 12, 10, and 30 seconds. So it's really a, an inversion of the referential of reading time. Right. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's really the philosophy we want to, to, to develop that, right. that excites me about creating products that need to be really different, that 10 meters away, you cannot read time 10 meters away, but you see you have something <laughs> completely unique, completely different. Uh, absolutely. Uh, and to me, it's key today. Well, I mean, that's the whole point also, you know, like the thing is, uh, in, in today's world, you know, the we're kind of like chased and confronted by constant reminders of time, whether it's on every electronic device that we have exactly. in our pockets that we're looking around on the screens facing us. So for me, if I'm going to wear a watch, I want that to be something that gives me emotion, that gives me a pleasure to wear. And I love the idea of taking time and transforming it into something that is artistic, that's expressive, that is a representation of beauty, and in some ways hints to a philosophy of enjoying one's life rather exactly. than being oppressed by the constant march of time. And that's exactly what I get from your watches. Completely. Uh, so let's go to the next watch that you created after that. Second collection is really the same spirit. Uh, so after Le Matino, the mornings, we have our second collection uh, named La Nuit Fantastique, so a fantastic night. Right. And can um, we take a look at that? And here is the latest version that we unveiled uh, here at uh, Watches and Wonders. Um, much more classic, I would say, but right. still extremely different. Uh, powered by the same mechanism, in-house mechanism that uh, we developed. Right. Uh, so here it would be 12 and 28 minutes. Up. Uh, and we call this version the Dune version, actually. Oh, because of the colorway? Because of the color. Very Absolutely. nice. Dude, okay. this guy just created one of the dopest watches I've ever seen in my life. Check this out. In Fort Journée, three discs made in titanium, each one telling seconds, minutes, and hours floating around in space like, I don't know, UFOs hovering on top of the base plate. Beautiful dome sapphire crystal, grade five titanium case. Look at the wonderful grenet on the back of that movement as well. Uh, micro rotor automatic, but dude, I'm telling you, this watch just blew my mind. It's absolutely stunning to behold, incredible to wear. Uh, it's one of like my favorite contemporary watches, I think now of all time. Uh, the idea of taking time and interpreting it in this beautiful artistic way. Gauthier, tell us a little bit about that. It's really the spirit of the brand that is, that is really driven by creativity, by difference, by art first. Right. And then the technical part will be a scaffolding to express our creativity. And here is really, the, I think, the pinnacle of what we do today. Um, we exploded our first collection, we put it in 3D, and we're just having fun doing that, actually. Amazing. In Fleur Journée, uh, when the pictures came out on social media, I think a couple weeks ago, uh, it already basically caused the internet to break. Uh, people are now trying to track this down watch at all costs. Um, come and check it out if you're in Watches and Wonders. Uh, and if you're just a guy who loves watches, take it from me. This thing is amazing. It's absolutely fantastic. One of the best watches of all time, brother. Well done. Thank you, Ray. Thank you so much. Cheers. Bye.